Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Scrap in Scotland. Thank you for joining me today. To everyone that subscribed to the channel, I really appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you for coming along and joining me on this journey and sharing in the experience of scrapping out electronics. Uh, today I am going to scrap down this smart kettle. Now, it's called a smart kettle because the platform on the bottom actually weighs the the kettle itself and the liquid that's in it and it tells you how many cups essentially uh, that there's left in the kettle it also gives you the different temperatures so if you see along the bottom here it gives you different temperatures and you can select a different temperature uh, over time it stopped working correctly that you can reset it but the amount of times this has been reset now uh, you know, it's endless amount of times trying to reset it and it still doesn't work properly. So, uh, the wife has given up and she has bought a new kettle. So, this has been handed to me to scrap. So, a couple of things with kettles. Most of them are either stainless steel or aluminium. I'll come to the kettle bit uh, a little bit later. What I want to scrap out first is this base unit. Now, it's quite heavy. It's not a light unit. Maybe it's because it's all plastic and it's heavy plastic. Or maybe we've got some goodies inside. Uh, there will definitely be some brass in here. Because the base of the kettle is always brass as you can see. This is these brass rings. Now they're not heavy, it's not a lot of brass. It looks more than what it actually is. There's not a lot of weight there. But we should also get some counter pieces inside here that is also brass. Alright, so I'm going to tear it down. To tear it down we've got three screws in here and they are little kind of triangular screws. They're not your normal kind of Phillips screws. It's a kind of three pronged. You see that? It's a three prong. So we'll get this off. <laughs> We'll not get off with that because I was going to say because they're too deep set, but actually, you just put it in the screw, line it up, still a little bit pokes out, and you can catch it before it hits the magnet. And undo it. There's probably actually only that one screw here that I needed to do that with. The other ones are reachable. Okay, so, top piece of plastic off, into our plastic waste, and that reveals some metal parts, which is always good, as we are recycling metal. That top plate is actually glass, I never knew that, I actually thought that was plastic, but that's glass. Move that to one side. And then we've got our little board, and what looks like aluminium plate, okay? So, we've got some standard Phillips screws, in the aluminium plate, we'll take them off. There's our first little aluminium plate. Just check it with a magnet. Doesn't stick anywhere, so that's aluminium. Then we have a secondary plate as well. And a little metal piece here as well that also looks like aluminium, but let's get the screws out first. Okay, that's the screws out there. Take off this plastic piece, because we've got another couple of screws revealed. This is also the little kind of three prong screws. A 
allows us to extract the board. Okay, we'll come back to this bit in a minute. Okay, we've got the second al aluminium plate out uh, and it is connected underneath by a couple of screws so we'll get those screws out as well back to the Phillips heads okay so this little bit of aluminium, not quite sure what it does, but it's got some kind of rubbery bits on it. Not sure how easy they're going to be to remove. Okay, so nice and easy, cleaned that up. Nice piece of clean al aluminium now, okay? So, still got a little plastic cover on this piece, so we'll take that off. There we go, three nice clean pieces of aluminium. So now, we'll come back to where our wires are. Snip these wires from the board. And there's a power cord and that's going to be a nice easy plug to take apart as well just unscrew it all and you can get the brass out of there don't have to put that in any plug soup or anything nice and easy our plastic waste okay and here's our board so there's not a lot on this board as you can see very very basic there is a, a little relay switch here. There is a little uh, piece of copper in this piece here. And there's a little copper toroid there. And a little capacitor. Okay, apart from that, there's not a lot. Uh, a couple of diodes and things on this side. But essentially I think we'll just take the, the relay switch off, a little bit of copper reel there. We'll take off the copper toroid and we'll stick the rest of that with the boards. Not a lot to write home about on that one. Okay. On the underside, you can see we've got some brass. Okay, so we're gonna get the brass out of this. Now, because this is part of a, of a switch mechanism, you will get some little uh, silver contacts on these as well. Okay, and that's that plastic all cleaned up and all the brass taken off it. Now your little plugs on the end here that are coated in this black tape, they are also brass. You'll see that this one's not brass coloured, it's more silver coloured, but it is still brass. Okay, so as you can see, it's not brass coloured, but it is still brass. And then you've got a nice clean piece of brass on the end of it. This particular piece doesn't have a silver contact, but some of these do. So we'll just put all this to one side at the moment. There's a little bits of brass. And that's the base unit taken apart. Now we can have a look at the kettle itself. So, first thing to do with the kettle is to get the base off it. Again, we are back to these little uh, three pronged screws. You see that? So not a Phillips screw. 
but a kind of three pronged screw. As I say, not a standard bit, but if you're doing scrapping, then you'll have a load of different bits to take apart all these different types of screws. Okay, now in here, this piece in here is all aluminium, but there is uh, metal that runs through that, and that can be quite difficult to take apart, okay? I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit easier on this one. Uh, because it does look like there could be ways to pry that out, see here? Let's see a, bit, a little bit closer. It does look like these edge pieces you can maybe pry out and maybe take it out that way, but we'll find that out as we go through. So let's get the brass pieces out first of all. We're back to the Phillips. Okay, now we can lift this piece off. And the two brass plugs, one either side. Okay. So we now have the brass pieces that are connect to this metal plate. Now these little pieces here also look brass, but we will check them because sometimes they do look brass and they're not. So let's have a look. Let's get them off. These little clips. Okay, so if I put that down, get the magnet. Okay, we've seen it jumped up there, so that is not, not brass at all. Okay, so we'll get the other one off. Heard the fool's gold? Well, that's fool's brass. Okay, cut the little springs, take them off, stick them in my metal shred from my little pins and such. Okay, now to get this bit off, you can see the little brass pieces are kind of folded over. So I just need to kind of break that fold a little bit. Shouldn't be too difficult to do. Once I can get a grasp of it, a grip. Okay, again our metal shred. That can just go in our shred pile. Again, check it with the magnet. As you can see, magnet sticks, that shred. Okay, we'll take off our little bits of wire. Now, as you can see, this piece here is connected to what looks like another bit of brass. So let's see if we can get that piece out. Okay, so there's a little plate. Again, give that the old magnet test. That one doesn't stick, so that's brass. Then we've got this little center piece it does stick to the magnet, but as I say, that looks like a little brass ring on it as well. So we'll get that off as well. Okay, so that little bit shred. And this little piece is brass. Okay, I do need to get rid of this big thing. back over there. Okay, so we've got the little center pin out. Now we need to start taking some of this stuff off. So we've got our little pieces of brass here that we'll take off of this as well. Now as I say, some of this will have silver contacts as well. If you can see the end of this piece, no silver contact on the end of that.
Okay, it's the bottom pieces off now. Now we should be able to pull the rings out. So there's our first one. Second ring. Third ring. one maybe a little bit trickier oh there we go fourth thing and then we also have a little center piece tiny little bit of brass but it's still brass okay it's a little tiny bit of brass there a brass outer ring these inner rings are all brass as well Okay, and then we've got our little bits of brass that we need to clean up because they also contain silver contacts. Alrighty, so we'll put all the brass together. Okay, got the contacts there. Alrighty. Now we can see if we can wedge this out. It might be that I have to take the top off it first. And that was indeed the most effective way to do it. Made my brass fly a little bit, but that's alright. Now, we'll see if we can wear the screwdriver in here to get this stuff out. So there's one. There we go, as easy as that, yeah. Just pull the thing out, it comes right out. Now that, to be honest, will just go in my shred. Because it is a bit tough to deal with sometimes. Now, it's all aluminium, but the one thing you have to do is you have to take this piece off okay so you can do that if you want you can actually just cut it straight off uh, or just stick that in your shred or stick it in your uh, irony aluminium whatever it is okay I'll put that to the side that because I might deal with it differently later okay so the one check now we have to do on this is to check if it's stainless steel and to do that we hit it with a grinder or the cotton disc. These nice big sparks off of that. Oh, I did think the, the magnet wasn't sticking to it, but I mean, this is stainless steel. Even though that magnet's sticking to it, you can see it's sticking to it very loosely. Yeah. It is still stainless steel, but as the magnet sticks to it, we're going to have to put that into shred. So that's a bit disappointing, guys. But, is what it is. And what it is, is shred. Alrighty. So, what we've got left is our brass 18.8 grams for the, the brass
which is 0 0.7 of an ounce. Okay, so that's a brass. Aluminium weighs 244.7 grams. And that's 8.6 ounces. And then you've got your little bit of shred on that, and as you probably know, I never really measure the shred too often, so I'm not going to do that today. So that's it guys, that's it for today's teardown. Nice, easy, quick teardown of a smart kettle. Uh, see, for me it's worth taking apart, usually you do get uh, a decent bit of stainless steel in there. Uh, on this occasion, we never, it's just going to, it's going to be shred. But we've got a little bit of aluminium and I never expected to get that, to be honest. I expected to get a little bit of brass and probably nothing else. So thank you for tuning in. As always, guys, thank you very much again to all my subscribers out there. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, then please do consider doing so. It does help me a great deal. And if you like the video, then please hit that thumbs up button. Hit that like button and share the content out to your friends and family. And if you do that, then most likely I will see you next time on Scrapping Scotland. Goodbye for now.